most men fall in love with some amount of technology in their life, be it a fast car or maybe a gun. But what happens when it's a washing machine? Let's find out in Soap Opera by David Ives. Bonjour, café paradis. This is Pierre. A table at 8.15. I've written you in the big book. My pleasure. Oui, monsieur. I'd like a table for two. A quiet corner if you have one. I see. Do you have a reservation? I do, under Maple. Maple. Hmm. As your other party arrived, monsieur. This is my other party. Monsieur, is your companion not a, a major household appliance? Yes, she is a major a maypole washing machine. <laughs> she is a washing machine? Alas, I see no reservation. And as you see, there are no appliances. Only purple. But she is a Maypool washing machine, and I am the Maypool repairman. The repairman who weeps because he has nothing to repair, who goes, whoa, 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 because the machine is too perfect? Yes, that is I. Oh, it's so sad. So, so sad. Handkerchief, monsieur. Merci. Like anything else, it started a long time ago. It was a naked crawling infant. I first glimpsed it in our basement. I mistook it for a television and tried watching cartoons in it until I was five. Unsuccessfully, of course, but by then I was hooked. The Sphinx in our basement was my mother's ocean IT-40. It sat there like a mystical monolith, like some block of a Tower of Babel. Or was it Babel? Anyways, it was in our basement and the Maypole was a god. I was a magnet for filth. We were the perfect match. Hi, Manny. And then there was Mabel. She was perfect too in a flawed human way. She always had a spot of jelly on her blouse, but she was loving. She was tender. And her name sounded like Maypool. There's a spot on your blouse. It's jelly. Manny, do you like, like me like you like the Ocean IT-40? I mean, aren't you the love of my life? You are. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to choose me or the machine. Handkerchief? No! Mabel, come back! Handkerchief, it's immaculate, of course. We are a maple. Do you ever think she'll come back? In my experience, everything is a cycle. Wow, look at that. Pristine. Because the molecules are clean now, can Mabel scrub at a subatomic level? I guess you don't think much of humans, do you? We run hot and cold. Don't you humans ever read the manual? And your name is... Manuel. Us Maples don't need to read the good booklet. We know how to, how to run smoothly noiselessly, and efficiently. My God, you're beautiful. I was awash with confused feelings, and I knew this machine and I were locked in a permanent press. And if it was love, it was unclean. Mother died during a soap flake bl blizzard and was buried on a day without a blemish. A good send-off for someone who not only thought man was dust, but dusty. I inherited the maypole. The pure, unapproachable goddess was mine! 
Hello, Manuel. How's college? Good. Good. What are you studying? Literature, philosophy, religion. What are you going to do with it? I was thinking about becoming a maple repairman. I know, I know, I'm obsessed. But doesn't half the glory of humanity come from obsessed idiots with a dream? Who understood Romeo and Juliet? Tristan and Isolde. Lewis and Clark. Then came the day I thought would be the happiest day of my life. The day I graduated to Maple Repairman. I know. I know. I'm obsessed. And so is Mabel. Manny, do you want to marry me or do I gotta live in sadness forever? I do. You do? I do. And we repaired to the church and said we did. But the honeymoon soon ended. Do you think you could ever replace us? I bet you I knew Super IT90, some cute little computer-driven number-crunching job. No. Never. Manny, is it really over between you and that? Yes, it's over. Why do you ask? Do you think I don't see you polishing its knobs while I'm not looking? Do you think I don't notice we're sleeping in the utility closet? Do you think I don't know you're buying me rare, high quality blends so that she can wash them? The machine was making greater demands. Italian bleaches, nuclear detergents, fine French fabric softeners. Mabel bought none of it. She'd had it. I've had it. And so, we folded. I went into a soak cycle, hanging out at cut-rate laundromats, watching the competition break down. Washers without automatic link control. How pathetic. Yet, how vulnerable. And then came the final blow. We want a dryer. Why do you need a dryer when you've got me? Love and marriage, horse carriage, washer, dryer. Her and her timer had told her it was time for a dryer. How could I deny her? Oh, it's so cruel having to be perfect all the time. Sometimes I want so badly to be bad. People take us maples for granted as if we like pea stains snot rags and baby bibs full of vomit. I'm no saint. Well, I am a saint in a way. There's nothing to be done. All right, all right, fine. You have your human emotions. Be that way. Then I saw the cruel truth. The world as it is, a veil of pea stains, snot rags and baby bibs full of vomit. But amongst the filth there were Mabels, glorious creatures of imperfection, and I'd already wrecked the perfect by letting Mabel go. And that's why I wanted a table here tonight, to end the idiocy, to tell this machine, I gave you my all, but the tide has turned. So goodbye, be of good cheer. But of course you don't understand. Nobody does. Oh, but I do understand, for I was in love for 15 years with this Telephone. We communicated so well. Now I can barely get a dial tone. Gabrielle, table for two. Manny, is that you? There's a spot on your blouse. It's jelly. I don't think it comes out. Oh, Manny, couldn't we try again? Never remove it. Oh, Manny, I see now that all humanity is linked age upon age by a great chain of hankies. I've seen many hankies. Many, many, many. But no hanky of any size could ever dry the tears I've shed for you. Pierre, looks like I'll need that table for two.